welcome back to another episode of Let's Talk Tinnitus. If you don't know me, I'm Carrie Slount. I'm 22 years old, a student from Loughborough, and I've had tinnitus my whole life. Before I get started with the video, I've actually got some very exciting news. Duerity have actually sponsored today's video. They've got such an exciting mission. The mission is that together we want to help more people understand their tinnitus and find ways to enhance their quality of life. I've had some really inspiring and just amazing discussions with the team at Duerity. They know that there's no quick fix for tinnitus, but they just want people to understand that there are treatment options available and you've just got to find the right one for you because no tinnitus is the same. I, I spent 22 years of my life with tinnitus and it wasn't until two years ago where I actually started to realise, oh, there are things you can do about it. And the reason why I stand for Duerity so much is that they are the creators of Tinnerity G1, um, this device right here. It's helped me sleep so much better than I ever have in my whole life. Um, and I didn't even know it was out there. So it's all about just spreading that awareness and just letting you all know that there are things you can do. There are legit products out there that can help you manage your tinnitus. If you're interested in finding out more about Duerity or finding out what things are out there for your tinnitus, um, you can actually head to the link in my bio, which says find a clinic and you can actually talk to an audiologist near you who will actually tell you your different options and what may be suited for you best. Let's talk hearing aids. I've actually got mine in right now and this is the first time I've actually been doing a video with them in and I feel like I'm talking so loud, okay? So I've been like wearing them for like three weeks now, I would say, and I, f I feel like I, I do talk so loud, but to be honest, people have said that to me before, like, why are you talking so loud? Like, <laughs> it's, it's not loud in here. It's strange. It's been a lot to get used to, um, but they certainly have enhanced my quality of life and I know they will continue to do that until I get used to them. It's just been a really strange experience just hearing things that I've never heard before and going to lecture halls at uni and actually being able to understand and hear people talking. Like I usually just go there and I'm like oh my god this is so boring but now I can actually hear things. I'm like okay. If you're wondering what hearing aids I've got these are the Starkey hearing aids. Let me just pop them in there little thing. So it comes with a nice little case and um, they're magnetic so you pop them in there and they don't fall out at all. Um, here they are. They're the same colour as my hair so when I have them in you literally can't even tell they're there. If you're interested about how I got them fitted and what the process was like I've actually got a video that I've recently uploaded onto my YouTube so if you're interested please head there but all round it was a very simple easy process. I've actually really enjoyed them to be honest because I can listen to music, they're Bluetooth so when I have music on I can actually hear people talking whilst I've got the music playing and no one knows or um, when they connect to my phone automatically, I can just be scrolling on social media and all of the sounds just play through my hearing aids. So I'm not distracting anyone, I'm not being noisy. And the one thing I love the most is that when I put my sat nav on my phone, when I'm driving around, it doesn't look like I'm using my sat nav. So I look like I'm proper like with it on the roads and I know exactly what I'm doing, I know exactly where I'm going. But in reality, I've just got like a little thing in my ear. So it's really good. Oh my God, that reminds me of this really funny TikTok that I saw. I sent it to my dad because he's always like oh no no you don't need a sat nav you don't need a sat nav my dad's a lorry driver so he thinks he knows the roads like amazingly which he does but this video is just brilliant all right y'all ready we about to hit the mall yeah. 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 wait a minute bro i gotta send you to addy so you know where we're going oh no i don't need navigation oh, what? What? so, so, so how, how are we gonna get there i already know how to get there are you kidding me oh, what? what kind of sorcery you got going hey, it's on all bro? Just off the dome. oh he got a sense of direction yeah, yeah. he does I got a good sense of direction. Cool, bro. So every time I'm driving around, that's how I expect my passengers to react from now on. <laughs> the Bluetooth feature has definitely been a massive perk and you know, like it's something that I use every single time I put them in. So it automatically connects. My phone connects to it. I get messages through there. I get phone calls through there literally everything connects through there so but it's not too loud like it's not like oh my god like <laughs> wasn't expecting that it, it's actually like a really nice nice tone it's just really nice also speaking of nice sounds when you put them in it has such a nice little chime like i don't know what it is but as soon as i put them in it's like dun, dun, dun. it's it's really good it really gets you like in a calm mood it's just nice and then when you turn them off they have like, a really nice tone there as well but also another thing which is amazing is 
as you can see on the back of them, there's a little button right there, little button. Um, and when I'm in an environment where it's just like one person talking, for example, and I'm in like a restaurant, I click that button, it scans the environment and it just focuses in on that person in front of me. Like it's, it's absolutely brilliant. The one thing that I will say that I've noticed is that I'm a lot more tired and I don't know if it is anything to do with the hearing aids at all, but ever since I've been wearing them, I feel like because I've got more things to listen in on, I'm getting quite a lot of like feedback from things that I've never heard before and I'm listening to things that I've I've never listened to. So it's a lot of my brain to handle. Um, I don't know if that is anything that's making me tired or making me feel overwhelmed. Like if you've had that experience, comment below, let me know, because I feel like it must have something to do with that. It must do. The hearing aids that I bought before this, I bought them online, which is something you shouldn't do. And I've said this before, it's because when you buy online they have no idea what your hearing circumstances are they don't have a have a clue about the severity of it and it's not tailored towards you so if you're thinking about buying some online don't do it because they're just not going to be beneficial anyway the ones that i did buy online compared to these ones oh my god they were so tinny they just weren't equipped for me they fell out my ear all the time they they wobbled around and i was like oh my god i'm i will never get used to hearing aids simply because they they move around but with the starkey hearing aids and actually going to a clinic they actually measured my ear properly it was like a half an hour job of them just like messing around with my ears like doing all these kind of things but you know what like it's so worth going to a clinic like just for that extra price i I don't know why I didn't do that to start with. I didn't even know. Well, that's my excuse. I didn't even know that audiologists would be that helpful. Um, and to anyone who's thinking of going to like the NHS and things, definitely think about your options when it comes to looking into hearing aids, because if you pay to go privately, that little bit extra is going to benefit you your whole life. It really is. The quality of life that I've got now compared to what I did is immense so you know it's worth the extra time the extra bit of money because you're investing in your life really oh something that just proves to me how life-changing they've actually been is that i've been having dreams about them i've had dreams that like i went swimming and i broke them and it, this was like last night actually it was it was so vivid like, i was so confused like, i woke up thinking oh my god like am i hearing aids okay um obviously they're fine um uh, but you know like when something becomes so prominent in your life and so helpful they things do play on your mind especially when you go to sleep and like you start having dreams about things but it just proves how beneficial they've been and how much i do love them i left the house yesterday to go to a studio session for my coursework and i forgot my hearing aids i was so upset like i wasn't upset but as i was walking i was like oh my god really but when you have them in you really do feel prepared and equipped for whatever life throws at you you know that you're not going to be saying what 20 times in a conversation with someone like you're actually going to be able to communicate and not guess what they're saying like in the past when i've spoke to new people and, and they're quite like soft on their with their voice i i like just guess what they're saying and kind of just like nod and smile but now i can actually reply with, with good conversation and actually you know let my personality shine through because often i felt like i was being a little bit rude to people where sometimes I wouldn't hear what they were saying and I would kind of just like yeah yeah um but you know I'm not a rude person I, my personality it's bubbly and I really want to make friends with new people and have good conversation but obviously my my mid-range hearing loss it just kind of messed that up quite a bit but with the hearing aids you know I feel like I can really let myself be my fullest and just have a happy happy enjoyable life without socialising being a massive inconvenience. I've had a lot of questions asking if you've got tinnitus should you have hearing aids? Well I've always struggled to hear people and I don't know if it is because of my tinnitus overpowering people on the outside um, but when I went for the hearing test it said mid-range hearing loss and I had one in 2022, uh, 2023 and obviously 2024 and it all said the same thing and there was no varying outcome. But, you know, something that I've spoke about before and something that always has confused me is that when you're having a hearing test, all you're listening to is beeps and these beeps can literally sound like your tinnitus. So it's hard to actually see whether or not it is hearing loss or if it is just your tinnitus overpowering it. But, you know, my audiologist reassured me and said, look, that is just hearing loss. Like if it was anything to do with your tinnitus, you would see it varying on the graph. Um, I don't know if anyone else like feels the same, like that hearing tests are a bit like unsuited for people with tinnitus um, but if you do comment below and let me know your thoughts on that 
if you do struggle to hear people especially if you have tinnitus definitely go to an audiologist or an ENT um I would say it's definitely worth going private for that like I think it's like 150 pounds to have like a whole tinnitus assessment in most places um on average anyway but they'll be able to tell you exactly what's going on um rule out any underlying medical conditions and they'll be able to let you know like what your hearing is like because with tinnitus it's very common to have hearing loss like tinnitus can be a symptom of that um, and I'm guessing that's what it is in my case well what is presumed to be I mean I've had tinnitus my whole life it's hereditary I think my dad has it um, but you know if it's definitely like to do with like loud noise exposure for example the likelihood of you having like hearing loss is probably quite high so you know just go to an ENT go to an audiologist and see exactly where you're at and then you can weigh up your options and see if you need hearing aids or anything like that so yeah they have been game changing and I think it's all about finding the right things for you everyone's tinnitus is different and there are products out there that are going to help you live a happier life and before I had like decent hearing aids I was struggling to hear people um and I even used crap hearing aids and you know they even gave me a little bit of relief some way but these are just completely game changing. Thank you again to Dreerity for sponsoring this video. If you guys are interested in Dreerity or Tinerity, the device they have, you can click the link in my description slash my bio um, and click find a clinic near you because they're all about just finding the right treatment for you. Like Tinerity doesn't have to be it. Um, but it's all about helping you along your habituation journey. So, you know, thank you so much for watching this video and I hope that it was insightful about hearing aids. Um, but you know, it's going great so far and I will keep you guys updated um, because I think after like three months, you do actually become like really used to them. And at the moment it's pretty early days. So yeah, I'll keep you updated and thank you so much for listening. And I'm just so happy that you guys are here and thank you for supporting me every step of the way.